Hello and welcome back to Oasis Top Tips. Did you know that Oasis D3 Plot allows you to open multiple models which you can interact with separately or synchronously? Today I'm going to show you how to work with multiple models in a single D3 Plot session. And I'm going to show you some of my top tips that will hopefully save you time when you're working with lots of models. So I've got the Honda Accord model open in D3 Plot and I'm going to show you how to firstly open up multiple models. Go to File, Open New Model, and you'll see that an open window will appear. The open setting is set to single model mode, but there's also multiple models. In this case, you could open up all the models within a directory and subdirectories. But for this example, I'm just going to reopen the same model I have multiple times. To do this, I just read the model in again, and we'll see that the screen is split into two windows with the Honda Accord in the top and bottom pane. I'm just going to open up another model one more time, repeat the process, and we'll have three models in view. So first of all, I'm going to show you how to change the views of all the models. Down at the bottom of the screen, we have the control viewing pane, where we have some preset views and we have some arrows to position and rotate the model. Clicking on any of these will change the view in all of the windows. Auto center will also work. We can also use the shortcuts 1 to 8, which are assigned to the preset views. However, we need to make sure that our cursor is on the edge of the screen and not over a particular window. So one, two, three, A for auto center. I use these shortcuts often when I'm working with D3 plot as it saves me lots of time. The zoom, however, only works in a single window and this is because you need to pick two points within screen space. So if I zoom into the window on the bottom model, we'll see that only that view changes. If I have my cursor over a particular window and I perform an operation, either by pressing one of the shortcuts I've mentioned, like number two, or um, by panning and scrolling the model, so with shift and left click, then we'll see that only that model moves where my cursor is. Again, the shortcuts only work in the windows that I have my cursor over. This can be very useful if you want to make a slight adjustment to a single model and leave the other models alone and is a quite quick way of interacting with the models. However, sometimes you want to perform an operation on all the models at the same time. In this case, you can use the synchronize view button at the top of the screen. Synchronize view preserves rotations, translations and scaling for all the screens, but it doesn't ensure that the views are identical. For this to be the case, the models need to start in the same position. At the bottom of the screen, we have the active window buttons, model one, two, and three, as well as a double equals arrow button. This button here is used to match all the models to be the same view. So if I click it, we'll see that they will all become like the first view This operation prioritizes the leftmost active window. So if I turn off synchronized view just to make the models different and I move around model two and then I click on the double equals match button, it will revert the view to the same as model one. If I disable model one by pressing W1 so that it goes gray and then change model two again, then we'll see that model three will update to match model two's orientation and position. And this is because model two was the leftmost active window. The active window is very important when working with multiple models. And you can use it to toggle on behavior, which changes things in single models or all of the models. This also works for the timeline. 
So we see that all three models were active, so the timeline changed for all the models. Let's make them all into the same position so that it's easier to see. So first of all, I'm going to change model one into a position I like, zoom in a bit with my scroll wheel, and then press this match button. Great, they're all the same. Now we'll notice that the bottom window actually is clipping on the corners. And this is because the window view is a different aspect ratio. So in order to change this view, we might want to auto center it. So with my cursor over it, I press A, and then it comes into view. And I might want to just change the scale a bit so it's a bit bigger. Great. Now I'm just going to synchronize the view so that any changes I make from now on will be synchronized together. Okay, so if I now set the animation back to the beginning, and then I turn off model one and play, what we'll see is the animation will play for models two and three, but not for model one. Similarly, if I turn off model two and just leave model three active, we'll see model three continues and model two has stopped where it was. A word of caution though, is that the time line only changes for the active model. So we need, you need to make sure that you're checking the clock if you're comparing different models. I tend to leave all the models active and just look at the model that I'm interested in. Now the double equals arrow, or the match button as I call it, actually appears in lots of different places within D3Plot. You can see it's appearing in the data window, and that would mean that the same data components are applied to all of the models. However, if we look at blanking, it doesn't seem to appear here. Now, this can be annoying because, say you might have blanked some parts in one model, so let's just arbitrarily blank some through the middle of model one. We might want to make sure that the same parts are blanked in all the other models. Now, there is actually a way of doing this. And the trick is to go into the blanking view and look at the old menu. And here you'll see the match button. So the match button performs the blanking operations to be consistent with the active model. So this time only one model can be active at a time. Then when we press the match button, all the models will be consistent. With my cursor over model two now, I'm just going to press U on my keyboard, which is a shortcut for unblanking. And then what I'll do is I'll make model two the active one. Press the match button and you should see that models one and three update have the same blanking. In this case, nothing blanked. The last thing I want to show you is how to change the layout of your windows. So you'll actually notice that each window can be moved around on the screen and the last one clicked takes priority and takes the top position. If you've moved the windows and want to revert them back to the original position, then you'll notice that there's a tidy button within the control view. And if you click on the arrow next to it and tidy graphics, then that will revert all the windows to their default layout. If you wish to change the layout, then you can click on the layout button under the control options on the right pane and you'll see various options. So we have tile wide, which is the default. You can click on this to make all tiles the same size. So that's a bit like having a two by two, but we only have three models here. You can use the X, Y options. And whenever the setting is such that there are more models than can be fit on a single view, the pages come into play. So you'll see that there's a page option at the top and you can page through each of the different models at the top. That can be really useful if you want to treat all of the models separately, but keep them within the same session for con combining curves or for quickly moving between them. You can also change the layout using manual layout options and advanced. And here we can have page one with all three models on and page two, just models two and three. And let's make that um, tile tall 
and the first one we should make it um, three by one, for example, and then the last one we can set as just model three. So we can change all of our views again with our mouse over the side pane. We can use our shortcuts or we can use the buttons in the control view. Flitting between the pages, we can see the different pages that we set up. And we can skip back to the beginning with the button at the left hand side. So I hope that's been useful and that these tips will save you time when you're working with multiple models.